Am I absolutely backlit? Yes, I am. Hello, friends, and welcome to Miro's Little Workshop of Horror. It is going to be a DIY video today. Let me just say, my DIY skills are abysmal at best. So that's the premise of this video. Today, I want to attempt to make a Hoya shelf on this wall here in the back. That's the wall where we usually sit. You know, I sit here, you sit there, and then you see this other side of the room that you don't see right now. This wall is a blank canvas upon which I will put a Hoya shelf. About a month ago, I transferred some of my hanging type Hoyas on a wall shelf that is on the opposite side of the wall and it is in the background of my videos. I quite like that look. I especially like it for smaller leaved Hoyas, for those hanging Hoyas, and they don't have to take up the space on my Omar shelf where I keep all of my Hoyas really. And you know, it's kind of time to divide them. It's kind of time to give the bigger ones more room to spread because that's what we want. I think it would look cool if I had a similar thing to that other wall but just bigger and better on this one. I'm not even sure if I have enough Hoyas to fill up that shelf, but I'm pretty sure we can, we can fix that soon. So what I will do today is, again, I will attempt to make a shelf. I went out and bought some pine wood planks and some wall L holders. I mean, I don't even know the terminology, and yet I'm doing a DIY video. So the basic idea is to, you know, slap all of those together, you know, add a light, just like that, slap it on the wall and call it a day. Or call an ambulance. We will see. Hopefully call it a day. I will do three levels, but only two of them will be for Hoyas. The third one will be there just to hold the light. And you know, the top level will remain empty. I might put some books on there or some... I mean, I might end up putting plants on there in two weeks, which is what will probably happen. And then, you know, it will just keep growing until we reach the ceiling. I will attempt to do all of this today. I have, again, absolutely zero DIY skill. I mean, I do things around the house, you know, I painted my shelves. I assembled all of the IKEA furniture in here. I, I think that's all. So this is the wall. This is the blank canvas that we will work with. I'm slightly worried how this will turn out because I'm not prepared for this. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Any word that ends with a Lee, basically. If you don't know Charlie Heights TV, I don't know how to talk to you. The first and the most crucial step of any DIY tutorial is, of course, coffee, so. Get it in there. I think something is weird with the exposure on this. Many, many minutes later. Okay, I think this is the best that we're gonna get with the light. I'm just gonna say, I think I've spent already like half an hour doing this and what I've done so far is I moved the desk and I set up the light. That's, that's where we are at. I need to decide where these will go on the wall. I think I'm going to go for the middle of the wall. That's the only thing that makes sense right now in life. I think these wood planks are 120 centimeters. I think this is 180. Yeah, 180, which means that I have about 30 on each side, right? And then we will be in the middle. Let's do that. Let's measure out 30 here and from the other side because you don't have a ruler long enough. I'm just gonna use this scrap piece of metal and I'm basically gonna draw a line, hopefully, which will serve as a guide. So, you know, I can line up the ends of the shelves. Okay. <gasps> there was already a jump scare and we haven't even started drilling. I think I'm way too close to the camera right now. So you might wonder, Miro, if you know you are bad at DIY, why attempt this? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's because I've been watching DIY channels for some time and, you know, they make all these wonderful things, like wonderful furniture from wood. And I thought, why not? Why not give it a go? What can go wrong? Okay, I'm gonna put the libel there and I'm gonna make sure this is level, which... I guess it is. We need to draw out a line here. And... Crap! 
It moved a bit, but that's okay. I don't know if you saw that, but basically what I did is I put the wood plank and I put the libel like this and I drew a line to mark the wall and I scratched my fingernail right now. I think the first level should be about here. And then the next one will be 40 centimeters up and the third one will be somewhere there. I mean, I might even be able to hang light from the top, which means that I will definitely, most probably, very likely utilize the top level. So there goes that. I think I'm gonna measure 40 centimeters and then 40 centimeters more. I forgot to account for the thickness of the wood boards, of course, so the levels are not equally distant from one another, but when did that matter, right? This is going to be our second level here, and that looks great. Almost. Let me just show you this line. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Accuracy 100. 1000. I'm not sweating because this is hard, but it's like a million degrees outside. And, you know, planet is on fire. It's very hot inside too, there's no air conditioning. Do I wish it weren't 30 degrees inside while I was doing this? Yes, yes I do. I think I'm gonna put these thingies that are supposed to hold the shelf. 20 centimeters. Each, from each side and I'm gonna offset them by 20 centimeters. I'm not really sure how to make sure that these are level. If they had like a straight edge, I could just use the libel, but they have a tapered edge, so I'm not really sure how to do this. Oops, I, I feel like you cannot get this wrong, right? Right. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that. Oh, what did I do? Let's hope for the best. I'm going to start to drill the wall to see how the first level will look like. Before I start drilling, let's hear the word from the sponsor of this video. This video was brought to you by Skillshare. For those of you that don't know, and you really should, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes that you can take with wonderful and amazing teachers that can help you explore your creativity and learn new skills. I'm currently watching a class Creative Writing Bootcamp by Myla Goldberg, and I spent about 20 minutes learning how to write an antagonist for your story. I'm pretty sure that Lord Voldemort will have nothing on the villain that I will create. I mean, stay tuned for the release of my first novel, and of course, a live action trilogy. I smell an Oscar coming. Another class he found interesting was Ceramics at Home, Building Dishes by Hands by Emily Reinhardt. Now, I know I'm not great at DIY, it's pretty obvious from this video and from my other videos, but here's the catch. It's a skill, so that means it can be learned. And who knows, maybe one day I will make all of my pods by hands. It could happen. It could happen. The best thing about Skillshare is that there are no ads, so you can learn new skills without any interruption, or if you're stranded for time, you can pause and continue whenever you are available. Really, it's all up to you. Since Skillshare is the sponsor of this video, first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And who knows, maybe we can make pots by hands together, but don't you dare write a better novel than me. I think it's time to get back to the video. I feel like I probably should have watched some videos on Skillshare about DIYing. That went in way too fast, I'm just gonna say. I saw this in a DIY tutorial, this is a proof I watched them. You should put a cardboard on top and then hit it with a hammer. So this doesn't want to go all the way in. You are supposed to mark the drill so the drill goes in further than this plastic thing. I did the opposite. Of course, of course I did. Let's hope these pliers help. That was surprisingly easy. Excellent. It's all well that ends well. Let's pretend the first mistake never happened. Something is off here. These do move a bit, which I'm not a fan of. It's like, it does move. 
See, this one doesn't move, so I think I need to tighten them. Okay, when you tighten them, they don't move at all. Shocking, I know. Okay, this is just a test. Let's check if it's level. It is. Oh my goodness, I did it. I'm amazing, this is level. I'm gonna mark the wood on the bottom where I'm going to pre-drill some holes. Okay, excellent. We just need to do this two more times on top and bottom and we're done. And we just need to screw these in and figure out a way to hang the light from this. Okay, there's a lot more work left. And then move the Hoyas, clean up. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I'm missing one piece of these, which is pretty vital, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish the project. I completely forgot to put a bag or something here, and now I have dust all over my bed, which is amazing. That's what I wanted. It certainly looks level, and the libel says yes, so Miro, the DIY, I wanna say God. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned because this is going way too well. I'm wondering why this going so well. Yeah, I don't think they can hold a lot of weight, for sure. I mean, I'm not gonna put a bunch of hoys here. Well, people, what can I say? We're almost done. We just need to do the top one. I don't think anything can go wrong because so far we've been doing extremely well. There is something in the wall up here. I need to hammer it. That's the scariest part, when you hit something in the wall. I think it's a brick, probably. I just realized I was absolutely not recording. So the original plan was to cut this scrap piece of wood into small bits, screw those in on the bottom of the shelf, and then I can put the light holders and, you know, just, it kind of snaps into place. But I discovered I can just use zip ties and it works just as well. So I'm gonna use zip ties because I'm a zip tie kind of a person. So we have pre-drilled the holes. I'm going to put the zip ties on. I actually did put the zip ties. You can see I just put the zip tie on and I'm gonna screw it into place. Hopefully the screw is not way too long. Getting the screws in straight is totally overrated. Okay, I think we have one level in. Let me just see if it works. I mean, it works like a charm, doesn't it? The shelves are assembled and I'm very tired at this point because I did wake up at six and now it's two. I think I need to turn off the light, but you can see we have two levels of light where I can put my Hoyas. The only thing that I would do differently, and let me just first turn off the light, much better. The only thing that I would do differently is cover the plants in the back because now they're dusty and I'm not gonna clean that today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry my plants. It's not happening today. So what I will do now is I will try to put my Hoyas here and see if I can fill out these two levels, if I have enough Small leaf toys, I don't know, you tell me. The ones in semi-hydro are a bit heavier, but I think this shelf will be able to handle that too. Half of the shelf is already full. I'm slightly afraid that I will not be able to fit all of them. That cannot happen. I'm glad I'm doing this because they also need to be watered. I think maybe this one should go on the top level because it's quite long. Oh, don't fall though, don't fall though. Stop it. I absolutely love how my Hoya Rebecca is growing. So she will go here. Some variegation with variegated Wayeti. All I'm gonna say is they fill out fast. This is not a Hoya, it's a Deshidia, but I will put it here in the back, kind of to fall over this. Maybe this some Sunny can go up. I did cut back my cortici to propagate, so I'm gonna put that here. Spoiler alert, I don't think they're all gonna fit. So much about not having enough for the shelf, Miro. 
Not sure, do I want to put Kanya Kumariana there or do I want to grow it on a trellis? For now, I think I'm gonna put Kanya Kumariana there too. And what I think I should have done is put more of the, you know, bigger ones up here because they kind of hang down and then the smaller ones down there. So I think I'm gonna rearrange a bit. This the shitty, I can go here. Honestly, if you ask me, I gained less space than I thought I would. Where was I putting all these plants? What was I doing? I think I'm gonna put my three cute owls here as well. Love it. Okay, I think I like it. Let's turn on the light. The lights are not way too strong, but I think they are getting enough light here. I'm gonna get cleaned up and then we will talk a bit more from a different angle. Okay, so it's not the same day, it's a couple of days later and that's not because I needed two days to clean myself up. It's just that I wasn't feeling like recording anymore that day. But we are back and you can see the horse shelf behind me. You can see two levels and I did in fact decide that I will use the third level for some Hoyas. Of course, are you surprised? It's just that I have some Hoyas on my Omar shelf from Ikea that are getting way too big for that shelf and instead of removing one level from the shelf and losing space, I will simply move those that are way too tall for that on the top level of this shelf and then we have enough room for growth, you know, they can grow vertically as much as they would like. Well, maybe not as much as they would like, still ceiling is the limit, but who knows, maybe one day in the future there will be a DIY where I remove the ceiling of this room so Hoyas can grow. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm pretty satisfied with the result and I think it will only get better. I think the only thing that I'm bothered with right now is it doesn't look as good because the Hoyas are still small. The top level, it does have some Hoyas that kind of hang over the edge of the shelf and that is great. That's the look that I'm going for. And I think when all the smaller ones on the lower level start to do that, when they grow big enough, I think it will look much better. And then, you know, with years as they grow more and more and they get bushier, it will really look like a Hoya living wall. Another thing that I would do differently is that I would probably put the lights closer to the edge of the shelf. Now the lights are in the middle of the level, but I would really like them to be more towards the outside edge of the level of the shelf. I think the Hoyas would benefit more from that type of light. So what I will try to do is I will try to just slide the light towards the edge and if that doesn't work then I guess in the end we will have to drill the holes and just put the light on the edge. Also as the Hoyas grow I think I will need to put a spotlight there so that the cascading part actually gets some light the light on the level of, of the shelf will not do much for that, so I think spotlight will be necessary in the future, but we will worry about that later. I'm not quite sure how I will do that yet, because the ceiling is pretty high, and if I put spotlight there, I don't think there will be enough light, so maybe the spotlight will need to come down a bit, but that's, that's a problem for future Miro, you know? Don't worry about things today that will happen in the future is... My motto, not a very good one. <laughs> all in all, I am pretty satisfied with the result and I hope that you like it. Let me know in the comments below, do you like how it looks? Is that something that you would like to do with your Hoyas? I would like to hear that. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel, well, clearly you should be. It's a fun place where we do DIYs sometime. I don't think we will do another one soon. There is one more thing that I would like to do, but I will keep that a secret. And if it fails, you will never see it. But if it works, I will upload that video. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'm sorry there wasn't a video last weekend or the weekend before that. I do have several videos recorded. And in fact, I did start to edit one of them. But the issue with me is, when I record a video, if I don't edit it right away, I think it's crap. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with those. Hopefully I will still be able to turn that footage into a video. And if not, well, we will just have to re-record. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and, you know, do something with your hands. Or if you're like me and you have two left hands, then don't do anything, don't touch anything. I think it's best for things around us that we don't touch anything. I mean, if you're like me. If you're a very skilled person, then, you know, go ahead, make things, make the shelves, make whatever you want to make. A mailman was just here, so I had to stop recording the video and the mail wasn't even for me. I'm loving this day so far. Just breathe, inhale, and exhale all the rage. 
Anyways, I hope you will have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye! I would like to take some time to thank my patrons. A big shout out to my special tier, Danube Daniels and Spinach Geek. Thank you so much for your support. Also, a massive shout out to my $5 patrons. One anonymous patron, Betsy Begonia, Bonnie Harris, Dinsla, Hoes and Whatnots, Jessica Hall, Kelsey Jager, Kristen Sherwood, Mars B, Mary, Melissa Walker, Nicole Ferranti, Nerdy Kathy, Tanya, TJWO, Two Notes, Three Leaves, Vicky Dingler, and Zlokov Pony. Also, a big thank you to my $3 patrons, Angelina Farnan, April Arroyo, Becca Panyard, Brian Phillips, Catherine G, Jerry's Garden, Kara Cactus, Lisa Helling, Morgan Kennedy, Nikki, and Ringlo. And a thank you to my $1 patrons, Caroline and Hacenta. Thank you so much for your support. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you decide to do something like this as well. Okie dokie, my battery is empty and I think that's the universe letting me know that it's time to end the video. And let's hope that this was in focus, otherwise I might break this camera. <laughs> I won't because it's expensive. Stupid.